Joining me now is the cast of The Sound of Music from the Academy Theater. Good morning, and thanks for joining me this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So for those who might not know anything about The Sound of Music, what can people in the play version tell people that is different from the movie version? Well, um, I can tell you that the, uh, the play version, actually, this is the original script um, from as it opened on Broadway in 1959. And there's a few different songs um, actually substituted in and out. So if you're expecting to see the movie, this is different. And there's actually quite a bit more to it, um, both in the story and the songs. There's a, a whole different love song. There's a whole, uh, there's two songs for Fairfair and Max and Elsa here that aren't in the original. And uh, yeah, actually really nice script though. Um, I think it kind of, gives a, uh, a different perspective than you might, might be expecting than, than you've seen before. Awesome. So I love the stage setup. I love everybody's outfits. Tell us, what is it like to be in a show like this? Um, it's been a great opportunity. We have a lot of families in this cast, including my family. My, both my parents are in it. Um, and it's like a whole big family here, so it's a lot of fun. Um, we got to meet a lot of new people. Um, we got a new director here that is a couple of hours first time working with him, mm -hmm. and it's been a lot of fun. So tell us how many people are in the cast and crew, and also, if you guys don't mind, introduce yourselves and tell us who you play. Sure. Well, there's, uh, I think, around 40 people, 40 plus people that are involved in the production here. And uh, I'm Richard Kress. I'm playing the part of Captain Von Trapp. How about you? Did you tell him who you are? I'm Natalie Crest and I am Greg. I'm Aubrey Garrison. I'm playing Maria Rayner, also Maria Von Trapp. I'm Gina Kamar. I'm playing Vegeta Von Trapp. I'm Natalie Grayville. I play Max Bettweiler. And Emily mentioned the families. Uh, a number of my family are also involved. My wife and my daughter are in the Nuns Ensemble. Uh, my son Trevor plays the part of Kurt Von Trapp, the younger Von Trapp boy. And my other son, Nathaniel, runs the flies. Good morning. My name is Brad Stauber, and I play Franz the butler. Um, my daughter, Emily, spoke with you just a few seconds ago, and my wife is also in the production as uh, a nun. I'm Debbie McCain, and I am the executive <laughs> housekeeper in the show. I don't think I was in the movie, but I'm in the show. And we want you to come. It's a great show. Hi, my name is Emily Schnauber, and I am I am a possible. Hello, my name is Crystal Pops. Hi, I'm Tug Roy. Uh, I'm, I guess, the only child in this, uh, in this cast. <laughs> <laughs> I play uh, Admiral Von Schreiber. I, uh, I'm the one that uh, has been uh, sent to pick up Captain Von Trapp and put him in the Navy. Yeah. And I think you'll notice we have just kind of a, an assortment of characters from here. If you know the story at all, there's actually seven children. Kind of early hours for everybody, I guess. But <laughs> there's actually that. There's a whole gaggle of nuns. You know? <laughs> and, uh, you know, actually, you know, quite a few other characters, but give you a good, good uh, preview of what you might be expecting. Perfect. And this question is for everyone, including myself. What is your favorite song in the show? Well, I'll go first. So there is the, the in the movie, there's the song called Something Good. It's kind of a good love song that people would recognize from that. In the original stage play, there was a completely different song, and that's called An Ordinary Couple. And at first, I didn't really care for the song, to be honest. Um, but then as we worked on it, kind of had our own harmonies and everything like that, I think it's actually my new favorite now. What do you think, Greta? What's your favorite song? <laughs> my favorite is Do a Dear Idiot. Awesome. <laughs> and it's okay to repeat that. <laughs> I think I have to say my favorite is The Lonely Goat Curve, just because it's like the first song that really brings Maria with the children. She gets to take their mind off of the thunderstorm and they kind of get to bond with her. <laughs> my favorite song is The Lonely Goat Curve, too, because it tells a really hilarious story, story and you get to little. <laughs> I think my favorite is No Way to Stop It. It's a song I sing with Elsa, the Baroness, the bunch, uh, the Baroness Schrader, and the captain. We sing that together, and it's, it's a great, uh, energetic, charismatic song. I do also love Ordinary Couple, the one that Captain Von Trapp mentioned. I hadn't heard it before the show, and it's, it's a good song, a lot of good harmony in it. 
I'm not sure if I have one single favorite song of the show. I enjoy them all. Uh, but if I had to pick anything, it would be the Nuns Ensemble, just because I get to hear my wife and my daughter sing. And that's a, a great joy for me. <laughs> Mine would be uh, Follow uh, and Get Your Dream, the one that Mother Abbott sings, and she does an outstanding job on that one. Yes, she does. The soprano for Julio. Mine's probably So Long Farewell, just because it's um, able to highlight all of the kids in the village have special abilities to um, weasel all the way down to Gretel. They all have their special, unique part in it, and it's really nice to see them on stage doing that. I have to follow Richards. Um, I also loved uh, Something Good, but I have come to love the ordinary couple. And actually, the first time I watched them on the side, well, I used to sit on the side and watch them. Um, and the first time they performed it, in the class, it was really sweet. Well, I'd have to say, after being taught by the fine sisters of St. Joseph, uh, probably Edelweiss. Uh, we had that a lot in high school. Awesome. And just quickly, if you could, um, just let us know a little bit about the show when it's playing and where people can see it. So it's playing at the historic Academy Theater in Meadville, Pennsylvania. We have two more weekends, uh, six shows left. And you can call the box office at 814-337-8000. That's 814-337-8000. Or go online at theacademytheater.org. That's theater spelled R-E, theacademytheater.org. All right, perfect. Thank you guys so much for joining me this morning. Thanks for having us. Yes, thank, thank you, you so much.